Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. So today we are going to be making, what would I call this? I guess like a upcycled votive or, so we're going to make, this could be a candle holder. For me, it's going to be a propagation station because I've been like really trying to add a bunch of plants to my home and I'm slowly, you know, getting them in place. And I've been kind of propagating some little offshoots that come. I'm trying, I don't have a green thumb. So this nice container, oops, I got Mod Podge on my hands, but this nice container right here, this is a candle holder and this is from the Dollar Tree. So this is nice like thick heavy glass for $1.25 and I like that it's nice and flat on its sides. So I feel like you could do this with like recycled jars like anything especially like I use right now I have for propagating I'm using a lot of the glass yogurt containers because this yogurt all comes in like these super cute containers these days so I'm using a lot of those and I feel like you could take the labels off and use them I happen to have this from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to use and I'm excited so what I thought I would do is I wanted to decorate it and I'm going to put some flowers on it so these are just some different flowers and these came from Michael's and all I'm going to use is Mod Podge. This huge, I don't know if you can see it, this huge container of Mod Podge. I bought this from Michael's, I kid you not, four years ago with a coupon. So I got it discounted. And this was like one of their 50% coupons I used on it. And this has lasted me so long. It's starting to get to where it's like the bottom of it is sort of sticky now because you know, I've had it for such a long time. And then these little faux flowers and real flowers would be nice too, but I, and I do have some, I just kind of decided that I liked these and wanted to use them. But these are faux flowers from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby and $6.99. And then of course I got them when they were 50% off because I only buy the stuff when it's on sale. So, and as you can see, not only have I used my Mod Podge a lot, I've used these for multiple different things also. So, even though it would be, you know, $3.50 for the pack, I've definitely gotten more than that, you know, more than one use out of them. And then I have these other little flowers also. These are actually more real flowers that I also got on sale. I'm just going to take some different ones out. I don't want like a ton on it. You could put as much as you want, of course. And I cleaned this with denatured alcohol, just so you know. So I'm just going to kind of decide how I want it. Now, I'm, I'm using one of these, re, you know, like reusable brushes for this just because, you know, when it dries, it can all like peel off and then I'll also use my finger. And then I'm just gonna, this is like darker on one side than the other. I'm just gonna kind of decide how I want it. Put that on. See, you can see my Mod Podge is getting sticky now. Honestly, I could just water it down, um, put a little water in it and water it down, which is what I'll probably do when I go over top. 
And I'm just going to put this on. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes, just for a few minutes. And while it does, I'm gonna add some water to my to my Mod Podge, thin it out a little bit, and then we'll come back, cover it, and then we'll let it dry the rest of the way. All right, so just so you guys know, I added some water to this Mod Podge and shook it up really good. It's a little foamy right now, that'll settle down but it actually worked really well. And all of the like sticky glue is no longer like all stuck together. So now this isn't even close to dry because it's only been like five minutes, but I'm still gonna go ahead and take my watered down Mod Podge and go over top of it. Get these little chunky pieces that are still there off. All right, and now we are dried. And this turned out so cute. Now, honestly, I have a couple little places I saw like over here where like my, you know, my glue was a little goppy because, you know, mine was thick. I honestly, I should have watered it down before I used it. But otherwise, that's it. I mean, it dries clear and it turned out super pretty. So let's see what it looks like with the candle in it. As for me, I'll be using this to propagate new plants. I needed one, because this has a big root base on it, so I needed a bigger one. And this one from the Dollar Tree was perfect, and I wanted it to be pretty. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends, and I'll see you later. Bye!